India's space ambitions are reaching new heights. In an extraordinary milestone, the Indian Space Research Organization has just achieved a groundbreaking success in space. For the first time ever, ISRO has successfully germinated cow pea seeds in space. Now, this was part of ISRO's crops experiment on both the PSLV C60 mission. This achievement is a giant leap for India's space exploration program, paving the way for sustainable human missions to the moon, to Mars and beyond. On the 30th of December, ISRO's PSLV C60 rocket successfully launched into space, carrying not one, but two SPADIC satellites into orbit. Among the cargo was the POEM-4 platform housing 24 onboard experiments, one of which was the pioneering CROPS or Compact Research Module for Orbital Plant Studies experiment. Now, this is part of ISRO's larger effort to grow plants in microgravity, which is essential for future long-duration space missions. For the first time, ISRO attempted to grow plants in space under controlled conditions using an automated platform designed specially for this purpose. Now, the experiment involved growing of eight cow pea seeds, commonly known as lobia in India, in space. And guess what? Within just four days, these seeds began to sprout. Out of the eight seeds, at least three successfully developed leaves. Now, this is a huge accomplishment for ISRO, an Indian space program, as it proves that plants can indeed grow in the harsh conditions of space. But why is this so important? The ability to grow plants in space is absolutely crucial for future manned missions, especially those targeting long-duration trips like the ones to Moon or especially the Mars. Plants provide astronauts with vital oxygen, help remove carbon dioxide from the environment and can even be used as a food source, which is vital for food security on long space missions. Plants also contribute to the psychological well-being of astronauts as well. Having plants around can provide a refreshing atmosphere, improve mood and combat the effects of isolation in space. ISRO's successful experiment with the cow pea seeds is a testament to India's technological capabilities in space domain. What's even more impressive is that this was the first ever biological experiment ever conducted by Indian Space Agency ISRO in space and it was successful. The CROPS experiment took place in a closed box setup equipped with active thermal management and sensors to monitor oxygen levels, carbon dioxide concentrations, humidity, temperature and soil moisture, all essential factors for the growth of plants. ISRO's long-term vision includes expanding these capabilities to sustain plant life in space with future experiments focusing on longer-term plant growth. Now, this is crucial for upcoming missions such as India's Gaganyaan Human Spaceflight Mission and the proposed Bhartiya Antariksha Station or India's own space station. India's achievements in space farming places the country among a select group of nations with the expertise to grow plants in space. ISRO Chairman Dr. S. Somnath celebrated the success saying, quote, it is very exciting to see the life sprouting on the Bhartiya Space Lab. This cowpea germination test is the maiden attempt to try and understand through our own experiments how life works in space." Unquote. India's success in space farming puts it in the company of other space-fearing nations like the United States, Russia and China. These countries have been conducting plant growth experiments in space for years now. For example, plants like lettuce, cabbage and radishes have been grown on the International Space Station, providing astronauts with food and oxygen. ISRO's achievements now adds India into this exclusive group of nations, marking a major milestone in the country's space journey. The Indian Space Agency recently launched its 
space docking experiment as well, which could potentially pave the way for future manned lunar missions beyond Chandrayaan-4. If that's successful, then India will again join the likes of Russia, the US and China, the only countries that have mastered this space docking technology so far. In fact, this autonomous docking capability is expected to play a key role in human missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has set a clear vision for India to become a global space power. The country has already made significant strides with Chandrayaan-3, making India the first country ever to reach the lunar south pole where water is expected to be abundant. Up next are the Gaganyaan missions, which will see India sending astronauts into orbit this year itself in 2025. ISRO is also one of the few agencies to have probes around all three, the Sun, the Moon and even Mars. So are you proud of India's space achievements? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.